So here you are on this whole foods journey, ready to discover all there is to know about real food and how to incorporate that into your diet and into your family, right? So I am gonna show you guys and share with you four staples that I feel really will help you start this journey strong and easily, all right? We do want easy. So my first tip is in your bread. All right, that is a staple for every single household, bread. So instead of going and getting some of the processed white bread, which really doesn't have a lot of nutrient value in it, really start looking for bread that is whole grain and whole wheat. My biggest tip with this, guys, is the least amount of ingredients, the better. Really, bread should only be a few ingredients. There should not be a lot of the preservatives and additives and sugar that we just don't need. My tip would be to go and see if you have a local bakery that uh, maybe even delivers to some of your grocery stores. You'd be surprised when your mind opens up to look at the possibilities that you have. We here in the Midwest have some wonderful bakeries that are go-tos for, for my family. All right, so that's tip number one. Look at your bread and go whole grain, whole wheat, all right? Number two, a little bit different, but kind of the same concept is, is pastas, all right? Same concept, guys. You really want to kind of stay away from those enriched pastas and look to switching to whole grain and whole wheat. There are many different uh, brands available. This is an area you'll have to play with to see what textures you like. There's lots of different brands out there, and again, Flip it over, look on the back, and choose one that has the least amount of ingredients, sugar, and fake stuff. If you can't pronounce it, you really don't want to eat it, right? That's my philosophy for sure. Number two is in your produce, all right? And I'm kind of leaning towards the pantry here when I talk about canned fruits and vegetables. I know they're easy, especially canned fruits, you know, those fun little clemmies and, and things like that. And the thing is, guys, canned fruits and canned vegetables really are depleted, depleted of their nutrient value. There really is not much nutrients at all in them because they're already cooked down, plus they're sitting in juice and in um, salt base and in a tin can. So what's really great, guys, is there's so many things available. If it is a wonderful fresh time of year where it's summer and spring, you can go to the farmer's markets and get lots of fresh vegetables and fruit. I personally um, do also go to the um, freezer section, okay? You would be amazed at how much um, frozen fruit, especially, and frozen vegetables that you can find that are even organic, and it's so much less expensive. And there are studies that have shown that actually Frozen is a better choice a lot of the time when you're not, unless you're getting it from a fresh farmer's market because they're immediately processed right away. They're immediately flash froze so the nutrient value stays, um, holds on a little bit better. So look for frozen, it's try and step away from canned. All right, that's my tip number three. Number four, and this one is a real passion of mine, you guys, and that is get friendly with butter again, real, butter. My favorite brand is Kerrygold. Um, it is a grass-fed Irish butter and it is so delectable and yummy and it's a healthy fat. Um, the margarines, the Smart Balance, all these different brands out there that are not real butter, you really want to walk away from them. I love this picture that I have of um, ants and they had a tab of margarine in one and a tab of butter and the ants wouldn't even go near the margarine they were all over the butter it's real food guys um, no do you want to eat like a half a stick of butter every day no but whole foods what fats do and butter in particular when you add it um, to your uh, whether it be to your uh, pasta sauces or whether you're putting it on, on a piece of your whole grain bread, it's a filling agent. That's what fats do. They help to make you feel fuller and we want to feel fuller longer. All right. So those are my three or my four tips, you guys. So the bread, go whole grain, whole wheat. All right. Find something local. Number two is your pastas. Again, look at that label, go whole grain, whole wheat and experiment and see what you like. Number four is your produce. All right. Kick those cans to the curb and go and find frozen or fresh produce, all right? And number four, my favorite, is all about the butter. Find a butter you love and switch over. You will not regret it, all right? So I hope you have a great day. Now, if you like this and you wanna hear more about some awesome recipes that I have available for you, please check out the link. I have an offer for you for free whole 
um, Whole Foods recipes right from my kitchen to yours. Have a great day.